I think tonight is really a, a very uh, memorable night. I think that uh, in this famous Tom's Hall that we had a debate about uh, international labor order, which I think China is still a student, but we have learned a lot. I think that uh, it's really great. I think Toronto, will, will, this uh, debate will be remembered for, for, for a long time, because I, I learned a lot. It will be in, in my memory for a long time. I really admire of, of, of Canada, uh, Canadian people. Uh, you know, in my high school, I heard many times the story of Norman Bassoon, uh, uh, a Canadian doctor who, who sacrificed for China. In my university days, I, I had a professor also come from Canada, from Toronto, and taught me for two years. So the first day I come is Toronto. I study at the UFT. I really think Canada's spirit that can play an important role in the future. I think that uh, you know, the world is so complex. The world is so you know, colorful. Let's have uh, different models, different practice, and different uh, uh, you know, healthy competition corporate uh, rivalry, not strategic rivalry. And actually, you know, that uh, I, I think that uh, China's opened up, you know, we gave a great uh, credit for, for Deng Xiaoping. Deng Xiaoping has a very fundamental, you know, that uh, uh, his saying is very remembered. It doesn't matter if it's a white cat or black cat, as long as it catches mice. So that uh, it's really important. Now we see China is really developing, become the second largest economy, the largest market economy in the world now. So we let, let give China a little more space. Let China continue the opening up and reform. And, 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 and then China will really be a great market to, 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 to reward. As a matter of fact, you know, Tim Hortons, a Canadian company, opened its uh, uh, shops in China. And in 10 years' time, they're going to open for actually a thousand of them in the, in the different cities. And uh, you know, Starbucks has actually 3,600 shops across China, 150 cities. There are 3,000 McDonald's in China. So, actually, you know, Thomas Friedman, you know, the, the author of the World is Flat, actually said, if a country middle class is growing large enough, if they are interested in McDonald's, have the kids go to McDonald's, they will be less interested in war. They will be, they will be more in, interested in peace. Who would like to sacrifice such a good life? A, a prosperous life. So, so I think that we really need to, you know, think about, think hard. We are all living in this planet. We have only one Earth. So let's really uh, talk to each other, communicate with each other. Let's really not to, you know, deepen the negative narrative. I think there's not a myth. There's not hype about China. Let's see China, see is believing. I think, you know, we have to really communicate better. We have a lot of work to do. Tonight, midnight, the 25% tariff start. It's not really in a good direction. Let's work together. Let's solve the things for the peace and the prosperity for the mankind. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>